All right, chapter 10 for the 20th term of an arithmetic sequence. Um, so we can use our, uh, we're looking for the 20th term, a sub 20. We know our first term is 3 plus n minus 1, so that would be 20 minus 1, which is 19, times d, which is 7. So ultimately it ends up being taking 3 plus 7 times 19. We get 136b. Now number two, write an equation of the nth term of this arithmetic sequence. So we're looking for the nth term. We know our first term is negative 3. So n minus 1 times d looks like we're adding 6 each time. So times 6, distribute the 6. 6n minus 6. So we have 6n, and then it becomes minus 9 when we combine like terms. So 6n minus 9h. Find two arithmetic means between 4 and 22. So if you want to illustrate this, you can. You're looking between those two. It's arithmetic, so we know we're adding the same number over and over again. We know that's d, so we can say we started at 4. We added d to it three times, because that was three steps. We ended up at 22. So subtract the 4. Divide by 3. We see that d is 6, so I know I'm adding 6 every time. So let's go ahead and add 6 now. 4 plus 6 is 10, plus 6 is 16. If you add 6 again, it does, in fact, get you to 22. So 10 and 16 are the arithmetic means, so that's A. Number 4, find the sum of the series. So we've got, uh, we don't know how many terms. So we've got to find out how many terms. We have to find out which, what the n value is for 15. So we've got 15 as the nth term. First term was 3. So we don't know its n value, so n minus 1 times d, which is 1 half. Subtract the 3, distribute the 1 half. I probably multiply everything by 2 at this point to get rid of the fractions. So I get 24 is equal to n minus 1, so n has to be 25. So 25 terms. Our first term was 3. Our last term was 15. We averaged them, so uh, 18, half of that is 9. 9 times 25 should be 225, which is F. Number 4 is F. Number 5, find the sum of this arithmetic series. So uh, for our first term, we've got to plug in 3. Uh, actually, so maybe I'll start this way. From 3 to 8, that's 6 terms. We subtract them and add 1, that's 6 terms. So plug 3 in to get the first one. 3 times 3 is 9. 40 minus 9 is 31. For our last term, plug 8 in. So 40 minus 3 times 8. 3 times 8 is 24. So 40 minus 24 is 16. So we're going to get 47 divided by 2 times 6 is 141 is D. So 5 is D. Number 6, sixth term of this geometric series. So we're looking for the sixth term. Our first term is 5. R is 3 to the 6 minus 1, which is 5. So I'm taking 5 times 3 to the fifth, getting 1,215, which is F. Number 7, we've got to write the equation. We see uh, the first term is negative 12. What are we multiplying by? It looks like I'm dividing by 3, so that's the same as one third, but I'm also alternating signs, so it's a negative one third that I'm multiplying by. So right away we can throw out a because that was a positive one third. Uh, we have a first term of negative 12, not positive 12, so we can throw out b. And then you look at your exponents: negative n plus one or n minus one. Well, n minus one is what we're looking for, so d. Four geometric means between five and 12, 15. So 5 times, since it's geometric means, times r. There's 4 of them, so that means there's going to be 5 steps. So r to the 5th, and we end up at 12, 15. We're going to solve this. So we start off by taking 12, 15 divided by 5. We get 243. And then we're going to take the 5th root of that. That would be 3. Um, since it's an odd root, we do not do plus or minus. So these are not alternating signs, so I can throw out F and I can throw out J. 
Looks like we're multiplying by 3, so 5 times 3 is 15. Right away, I need to see that it's G. Number 9, find the sum of this geometric series. 8 terms, okay. So sum of these 8 terms. Let's take our first term, which is 128, minus first term times R. Looks like we're... Um, cutting it in half and it's alternating sign so it's a negative one half to the power of x we're doing eight of them so one minus negative one half and so we'll plug this into the calculator Ten, six terms. First term is five. R is negative four. We see that because it's the one with the exponent on it. Uh, to the power of six over one minus negative four. Plug that in the calculator. Looks like we get negative 4,095, so that's G. Okay, we've got to work backwards. It's a geometric series. The sum is 300. I'm going to factor my A sub 1 out from both terms, because that's what I'm trying to find. So it becomes 1 minus R to the nth power. It's over 1 minus R. So this becomes 1 plus, so that's a 4 down there. I'm going to multiply both sides by 4, so we get 1,200. Let me see what 1 minus negative 3 to the 4th power is. It should be negative 80. So negative 80 times a sub 1 divided by negative 80. And we get negative 15. So there's our first term, C. Okay, number 12. Um, our r is negative 1 fourth, that's less than 1, so that's okay. So we would find our first term, which is 20 over 1 minus r. So we're taking 20 divided by 20, or uh, sorry, 1 plus 1 fourth. We get 16h. Uh, number 13, looks like we're um, multiplying by 3 fourths, that's less than 1, so we would go ahead and take our first term over 1 minus 3 fourths. Which gives us 16 B. Last two problems here. Number 14, find the fifth term. Um, so we're going to find each term as we go. We can't jump straight to the fifth term, so our first term we know is negative 3. And then we have to take 3 times the previous term, so it's negative 3, minus n, which is always 1 less than your subscript. So we have a subscript of 2, so we're going to subtract 1. So it's negative 9 minus 1 is negative 10. Then I take 3 times negative 10. But this time I'm subtracting 2. So negative 32. Then I take 3 times negative 32 minus 3. So we get negative 99. So 3 times negative 99 minus 4 gives us negative 301. So negative 301 is our answer. That's F. And the last question, find the third iterate. Um, that's something we didn't actually uh, talk about, at least in my class. Um, but it's similar to what we just did. So we know x sub 0, that's 2. So the iterates, that just means we're finding the next 3. x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3. And I want the third one. And you just all you do is plug it in. So you plug 2 into the equation. So 2 squared minus 4. So it's 4 minus 4, which is 0. And then you plug 0 in. 0 squared minus 4 is negative 4. And then you plug negative 4 in. Negative 4 squared is 16. Minus 4 is 12. 12 is our answer. C. And that is the end of the packet.